Good day, Leo, and welcome to my channel. This is your reading for August 2nd, the day of Peru, which is a Slavic holiday for the Thunder God. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Ace of Diamonds, good news. Queen of Spades, a warning. Three of Hearts. Gathering of Friends. And Three of Spades, mis miscommunication. So your uh, general energy for the day is miscommunication. Yeah, so... This is going to be miscommunication due to betrayal. So somebody's betraying somebody. And in this position, it can be you uh, betraying somebody. Um, but it can also be somebody betraying you. Or, or it can be both. It could be both. Uh, hell, maybe you and somebody are betraying each other at this point in time. Uh, but either way, it's going to lead to a fight. And it's going to lead to a breakup. Uh, but the cards say it's time. It's time for this change to happen. So even though you won't see it now, you will see it in the future that this is actually kind of a blessing. Uh, that this relationship with this person just uh, kind of needed to come to an end. Uh, perhaps this betrayal has been going on for a while. Uh, and there's been miscommunication for a while. Uh, and it's due because of the betrayal. Uh, but also you're going to be going through it throughout the whole uh, day here. You're going to just, it's going to be a lot of miscommunication and fighting throughout the day uh, with this person. But at the beginning of the uh, day, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Good news. So some good news is going to come in. It's going to lead you to new success, new positive success in your life. And you're going to get in a letter or a gift or maybe even an email. Uh, so definitely check your email on this day. And um, yeah, you might fear it, though. Uh, you might fear it a little bit, and you're probably, you know, thinking, well, why would I fear good news, right? And uh, it's because it can be something like a new job, right? You get, like, a, a new job offer, or maybe you get uh, uh, a new uh, a new raise or some of, uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, you might feel like you're not qualified <clears throat> for said job. And uh, the cards say, no, go for it. Don't fear it. I mean, you got to remember when it comes to like a new job and, and note that it doesn't have to be a new job. It can be anything. It can be any kind of good news. But uh, uh, we're just going with a job, right? So with any new job, you have to learn still, right? So if you, do, if you feel uh, like you're unqualified for whatever this is, don't worry about it. You will learn as you go, right? You will learn uh, how, to, how to deal with whatever this is as you go along. You don't need to fear it. You need to just jump in there. It's, it's good news, right? And uh, it's going to lead you to good, positive, new success. I'm running a little slow this morning. Brain's not, not working so well. Um, but yeah, you need to go for it. You need to not, not fear whatever this is, this good news that's coming in. And you know what? Um, the miscommunication and fighting, that could also cause you to misjudge things. So that could be causing the fear to happen as well. And here in the middle of the day, you have the Queen of Spades. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a warning. This is an instigator. Somebody is resentful and wants to put a monkey wrench in your plans, which could very well be this good news. They might not like this good news when it comes to... To, to you and they want to uh, put a monkey wrench in it now here's the thing you got to know all the facts right you got to know all the facts about this person before you uh confront them about this now this person could also be uh the betrayer and they're just trying to screw you up period because you're fighting so note that um but 
know all the facts, you know, before you confront uh, this instigator, uh, know why they're doing it and, you know, who are they to you and all that good stuff, because it could be a kid too. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like it is. I, I really feel like it's this person you're fighting with more than anything. Uh, but it can be a kid sometimes. Kids can be instigators and very resentful when they feel like uh, your time is going to be taken away from them, right? Uh, and you want to handle a kid very differently than you want to handle an adult and that's why you want to know all the facts uh at the end of the day uh you have the three of hearts um a little help from your friends so yeah uh if you're like moving or something which i i don't i don't feel that but i'm just using it as a you know way to explain this if you're moving gather your friends Ask them to help you move. If they're moving and they ask you, go go and help them. Uh, if they're gathering for like a birthday party or a celebration or some sort uh, and you're invited, go to it. Uh, but you're going to want to retreat nicely. That's the, that's the problem here. You're not going to want to go. And, you know, obviously so. You're, you're fighting with somebody all day, you know. So this might not seem like something you want to do. Um, I feel like this is a gathering, a celebration. I don't feel like anybody's moving. I don't feel feel like there's any kind of teamwork or anything going on here really um i really feel like this is a gathering or a celebration that's coming at uh the end of the day and i feel like you're wanting to uh disassociate from that you know isolate and retreat uh due to this fighting and you need to not to you need your friends right now and when you're fighting with somebody and there's a breakup happening you really do need your friends you need your friends there in your corner you know so you have them uh to talk to and and having a distraction like a gathering a celebration maybe a birthday party or whatever Whatever. That would be a good thing when you're going through uh, this nonsense here. So definitely do not isolate from your friends. Go to your friends. Be with your friends. Uh, you need it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, among all this stuff, well, honestly, you know what? All right, so you got the magician, the magician, right? And the magician on the table, he has everything that he needs. He has all for the cards, right? And and he has wisdom, infinite wisdom here. And he has the power to grow, the power to build, the, the power to create, right? And I think that's looking more towards this. The good news coming in, the fear not. Yeah, you don't need to fear because you have all that you need. Even if you feel like you don't have all that you need to handle whatever this good news is, you do. Maybe you're just, you know, um, not giving yourself enough credit of the things that you know and the power that you have and uh, the tools that you have in front of you to do things. Uh, and, and you know what? In, in a time of this, all this fighting that's going to be going on to this day, um, that's understandable. You know, it's understandable for you to miss out in, on your knowledge and stuff of things uh, because you're upset, you know. So it, just make sure... Make sure that you don't pass up on this, okay? This is a good thing. You need to not let this this fight, this betrayal, this instigator, this person that wants to throw a monkey wrench in your plans, don't let them screw it up for you, you know, by, you know, just making you aggravated through a fight. I just feel like this person is going to aggravate you um, about all of it. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of aggravation going on here and you need to not let that happen because you do, you have the infinite wisdom, you have the tools that you need in order to take on this good news and make sure to know all the facts about the instigator, which could be the person you're fighting with. And, uh, note this will, you will see this as a blessing down the line, gather with your friends at the end of the day, because you really kind of need it, you know? So there you go. I hope this resonates. I hope it helps in some way. If it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here uh, next week, uh, next holiday. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.